Welcome to the new home of Gaston Track. Introducing Gaston Track Silverstone, unsilent. So what's going on gas gang? Today we're hitting you with an octane fueled savage freeway face off between a trio of highly modified different generations of the VW Golf. Today it's Mark 2 R30 Turbo versus Mark 5 R32 Turbo versus Mark 7 Golf R and it's gonna be a wild ride so stay tuned and let's get it. Welcome to Officially Gas. For the best in universal premium ester containing engine oils and fuel additives for both petrol and diesel engines, check the links in the description. So welcome back to a savage freeway matchup here at the mighty Manor Battlegrounds where like-minded lunatics pull up to put their cars to the test. And today, three generations of the notorious VW Golf spanning from old school to new school step up to see whose builds fastest and not one of these three here today have come to lose. Break out the popcorn, this one's gonna be mad. And in partnership with Race Logic, we're going to be carrying out two sets of races. First up today, it's a quarter mile roll race. Next up, it's a drag race to the quarter mile. All races are best of three and the V-Box Performance Box Touch will be recording data such as 0 to 60s, quarter mile times and more to let you know how these savages perform. Let's get over and meet the cars and their owners. So in order of old school to new, first up today, introducing Robert to the battles. In his crazy 1991 600 brake horsepower, 650 newton meter, 3 litre 6 cylinder VR6 D-stroked R30 turbo powered Mark II Golf. Built by Richie at TWR Auto Sport and tuned by John Lamsey at Quantum Tuning. Mods coming up. And he's going to be stepping up against Luke, repping for the Mark 5s in his Savage 2005 600 brake horsepower, 700 newton meter, 3.2 litre, 6 cylinder, VR6 turbo powered Mark 5 Golf R32. Built by Luke himself at DK Autos and tuned by Carl the Wizard. Mods coming up. And they're going to be stepping up against Josh, repping for the new school in his 2018 580 brake horsepower, 620 newton meter, four cylinder EA 888.3 single turbo powered Mark 7.5 Golf R, tuned by Avon Tuning. Mods coming up. So first up today is the roll races, but before we get cracking, let's get a couple of sound checks. Nice. 
So let me know which one of the three sounded best down below in the comments. And let's race. Got a pretty quick Golf R and a Mark 5 R32, both automatic. So out here repping for the manual boys. The ones who can still drive with a manual anyway. Right there. I reckon I'm gonna do it. Mark 2 is looking fast. Mark 5 is heavy. Hopefully I don't eat my words. I got this. I'm going to have them in the dig as well. Got like this. Never done any launches in this. Never raced it. It was literally finished three weeks ago. Half the paint and stuff, so... Keep your fingers crossed. <clears throat> Hopefully the Curse 2.0 doesn't strike and it just has a good day out. Seven took that one. It looked like the Mark Seven took that one. I want to say the Mark Two might maybe had a, a miss gear or something like that, but it looked close. It looked like a nice close race there. Let's find out exactly what happened. Finish line, finish line. Who won that? Carfar won that by about four car lengths. Oh, four car lengths. We call them bus lengths. Come on, four car lengths. And in a dramatic run down the strip, the new school Golf R beats the others to the line by around four car lengths. The Mark II manages to take second position by a bonnet beating the Mark V, who seemed to have problems with his shifts there. But let's line them back up and go again. the Mark 5 that time. It looked a lot closer that time. I'm going to say Mark 5, Mark 7, Mark 2. But let's find out. Finish line, finish line. Who won that? The Mark 5 won that by about two car lengths. Hey, he's pulled it back. He's pulled it back. Man, come on, DSG, man. Don't let me down. That first one, I got a short shift and stuck on the limiter. And that time, the Mark V gets its shifts in and turns the table in an ultra close race, but just beats the Mark 7R by just over a car's length. The Mark II comes third around three car lengths behind. Okay, so things just got interesting. Let's line them back up and go again.
I'm saying it went the same way. Mark five, Mark seven, Mark two. That's what I'm saying. That's how it looked from where I'm standing. Let's find out. Finish line, finish line. Who won that? Oh, it's close. Mark five takes the rolls. Why a call it? We need more power. And once again, the Mark 5 and 7 battle it out, but the Mark 5 once again just has the edge and holds the lead, beating the Mark 7 to the line by a car's length. Mad. Once again, the Mark 2 comes third. DSG ain't perfect, man, but it got me the win. So let's take a look at the fastest 100 to 200 kph times achieved during the runs using a VBOX PBT. And the Mark 5 and 7 proved to be extremely close. However, the Mark 5 just proves fastest going 100 to 200 kph in just 6.49 seconds. The Mark 7 hot in his heels goes 100 to 200 in 6.62 seconds. And the Mark 2 goes third fastest with a respectable 7.75. That's data to back up the results. And the roll races go to Luke and his killer Mark V. Next up is the drag races. Place your bets. Not a chance I'm going to win this, but I'm going to do my best. you got launch control on this? Yeah. Oh, you have? Can't, okay. Yeah, it don't work very well. I might okay. get stuck on launch, but we'll That's see. Okay. All right, cool. All right. I'm getting smoked. <laughs> are, are you far behind? Not far. Okay, you're sick. I come second once to the R32. Bro, you're the only one changing gears, bro. Yeah, you know what I mean? I'm you like DSG in here. Yeah, Pretend, yeah, I'm pretending bro. I'm a DSG. It's all right, bro. Old school, bro. <laughs> We're loving this guy. It sounds mad. Ready. 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 Set. Go. Come on, the Mark II repping for the old school with a reaction time there. Come on, he put the other boys to shame, but I'm going to say the Golf R ran him down and I'll, I'm not sure if the Mark V was able to run the Mark II down also, but I'm going to say the Golf R took that there. Uh, so I'm going Mark Seven followed by Mark Two, maybe. Finish line, finish line. Who won that? Mark 7 takes the win. I didn't win, but I won the start. And the Mark 2 trees the others and pulls out front. But the Mark 7 runs him down, drives round him and takes the win by around three car lengths. Mad. The Mark 2 comes second with Luke in the Mark 5 slower reaction time and gearbox issue, earning him a third place finish. Let's line them back up and go again. But before we get into the next race, guys, just three weeks to go until Gast on Track, the event of the century is going down. We have got so much more going on than just a track day. In fact, it's something to shout about, an unsilenced track day at Silverstone, the home of British Motorsport. But we also have off-track action for the whole family. Under 11s go free. We've got live action from Crusade. We've got racing simulators, which are free to use all day. We have a mobile dyno, show and shine, and so, so much more. Get your tickets down below in the description. Do not miss out. Tickets moving fast, and I'll see you there. Gassed on track. Let's go. Leave them again. Here we go. Hopefully leave them again. Ready? Ready, 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 set, go!
Hey, listen, that Mark II, shout out to the Mark II. Reaction times are mad and he is pulling a big gap in between them. But it seems like that goal far, the traction is, sorry, the launch control strategy is just so mad. I'm going to still say he ran him down and won. Let's find out. Finish line, finish line. Who won that? That was so, so close to call. Cool. I think the Mark 7 edged it by a shadow of a bumper. All right, so <laughs> we're not sure who won that one. Yeah, that was close. Cut to action replay. <laughs> And watching that start back, Robert hits it bang on when my hands start dropping and once again absolutely leaves the others standing with a lightning fast reaction time. He manages to hold the golfer off at the line with a near on photo finish and actually just manages to take the win by a bumper. Mad. The Mark V once again having shift issues comes last. It's one to the old school and one to the new school. Let's line them back up and go again. Come on, come on! <laughs> and I was on the early! Ready! 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 Set! Go! Hazard lights came on. It says it all. The new school takes it. The new school takes it. That's good racing. Get in there. Come on. Easy. Ain't no denying that one. I seen his tail lights. Both of you hold that L. Come on. Too soon. Need more time. Died in the boxing. And that time, Josh in the Mark 7 gets his reactions dialed and manages to pull out front and holds the lead, showing the others a direct route to Gappy Stan. The Mark 2 goes second around three car lengths behind. And once again, the Mark 5's gearbox says nope, and he comes third. That was epic, though, man. Mate, that Rock was brilliant. 3.6 on the 2 to 60 that time. Is that quick? That's quick. I've I never, mean, you I've might have went quicker. I've never done it. 3.6 is flying. I was having a blast, man, I'm telling you. Oh, <laughs> jump on the second 10.86. Is it? 10.86 at 129. That's and a fast car, bro. But that's some good racing. Oh, I need results. that. That my, but the box just ain't having that. You're not having it? No, no. And you know, even the ones where it launched up all right, I was getting stuck on the rev limiter and it ah. wouldn't shift. I'm pulling the pad and it's just like, boom, 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 boom. Did you win the rolls, though? Yeah, I won the rolls. It's it. I would say this is quicker, but the DSG itself, yeah, 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 you know, yeah, it needs dialing in. It was yeah. only off braking oil two weeks ago, so. Oh, there you go. There it's you go. like, you know what I mean? Yeah, that no, was, six, six, but, six, yeah. Six, six. So, let's take a look at the fastest quarter mile and zero to 60 times achieved by the Golfs during the runs using a V Box PBT. And true to the race results, the Mark 7 proves fastest, covering the quarter mile in just 10.86 seconds at a speed of 129 miles per hour. Interestingly, taking reaction times out of the equation, the Mark 5 records the second fastest run, covering the quarter mile in 11.24 seconds at a higher trap speed of 132 miles per hour, even with his pull shift. 
the Mark II, pretty much winning on reaction times, runs a best quarter mile time of 11.47 seconds at a speed of 123 miles per hour. However, all three not quite fast enough to make it onto the top 15s. Then taking a look over at the fastest 0 to 60 times achieved, once again the new school takes it with the Mark 7 hitting 60 in an eye-watering 2.68 seconds. Interestingly, once again the Mark 5 clocks the second fastest time, hitting 60 in 3.39 seconds, only just beating the Mark 2's best 0 to 60 time of 3.55 seconds. However, once again all three not quite fast enough to chart with the top 15s. And round two goes to Josh and that rapid Mark 7.5 goal far. So today ends in a draw with the Mark 5 taking the rolls and the Mark 7 taking the drags. But within the races, we had a massive mixed bag of results. The Mark 7 runs flawlessly and does the business every time recording strong times across the board and taking drag race victory. The Mark 5 is fighting a slight gearbox issue today shows just how capable it is when things go right by winning the rolls and clocking the fastest 100 to 200 times in the process, showing that once that car's dialed, it's going to be a force to be reckoned with. The Mark II puts on a show today, bringing all of the energy to the races in his crazy old school R30 Turbo. He runs strong all day and even takes a win due to having the driver mod, but just can't compete with the DSG gearboxes for shift time, even with the power to weight advantage. Regardless, a massive shout out to all three lads for stepping up and laying rubber for the culture. So as always, let me know down below in the comments if you could only pick one to rag around a B road, which one would it be and why? And if you have enjoyed today's races, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and don't miss another battle by smashing that notifications bell. And we'll be back same place, same time with another crazy OG battle. Peace out.